on the day of Qiyamah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask us, what did you do with your youth? What are we going to say? And do you know the prestige of youths? A youth, if a youth spends his or her time properly in the path of Allah, doing good things. I used to propagate hadith and Quran on Facebook and email and text. Oh, mashallah. People who propagate and do good things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised that those youths will be under his shade on the day of Qiyamah. But the youths who spend their time, their life in the right path, they will be under the shade of Allah on that day. Allahu Akbar. Everybody will be in the burning hot sun and turmoil. Allah will put them under this prestige. Allah will ask us about our time, our youth. Allah will ask us about our knowledge. Oh yes, that's the hadith. Go check Bukhari. That's why I'm saying about use the knowledge and the youth and the ability for good things on these technological opportunities. Not to go bad talk people and ill speak people and send nasty things on email and text and Facebook. How did you use your knowledge? To do bad? To say bad? To propagate evil? Allah will ask us, how did you use your life? How did you spend your life? Three things. And the fourth thing Allah will ask us about, He will ask two questions about it. Remember we were talking about it in two weeks ago, khutbah? Al-mal, our wealth. How, and Allah would not only ask us, how did you spend your wealth? He'll ask us, how did you earn your wealth? You earn it haram? All right, brother, leave that in the hands of Allah. And then how you spent it. Youth, one question. Knowledge, one question. Life, one question. Wealth, how you earned it and how we spent it. You know, if you check the, the, the commentary of this, youth is something that leaves us. And brother, you watch your beard go gray. You watch your bones go old and cold. Your youth just leaves you. Your knowledge is we get older, we start forgetting was young I could have said this I could have write this but I can't remember what it says again so we live and see knowledge leaves us and why you live in life leave you interesting eh? about the four questions three things leave us and we look at it leave us but you know wealth is a funny thing wealth does not only leave us we leave wealth and left wealth leaves us check the philosophy of that when you hear if you don't use what you have you die and leave it, it doesn't leave you. Knowledge leaves you before you die. All these things as you get older in life and the process of death and life. But we leave all the wealth because people don't hoard youth. They don't hoard life. They don't hoard knowledge. But wealth, we hoard it. And then we die and go and we leave it. And not only do we leave it, but it also leaves us and other people take it. That's a serious point to ponder over. In some other khutbah, we'll talk about the advantages and disadvantages of wealth and how it could be very dangerous if we don't control it and if we allow it to control us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and guide us inshallah.